okay so uh, what we are discussing is icm sm icm is the transaction code icm for the it will icm is the one of the process which is available in the application server level so here in sm icm will handle the web based request which means browser based request if any connection which is coming from the browser so smicm will take it and will process the request here suppose if any connection is which is coming in uh, sap gui so which process will take your request anybody which process will take your request what is the first process dialog 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 right so here which in any if any connection is, is coming from browser suppose like if you open irctc.com or something there is a internet web pages all will comes under the via smicm only here this is a transaction code to check the so the http the https ports then icm logs how the icm handling this kind of things we can check in the sm icm sm icm here so sm icm if you want to access any functionality within the sap system with the browser mode the function so it will come via icm only it will come via icm only here it will handle here we will check the the sm icm services through http port active or not so in case of it is not created we need to create the port right see like this we have to create the port number we have to keep it and we have to create the port here like this we have to create the ports http https here right why because if any connection is coming from outside it will come via port only via http https port suppose like but uh, here within the server we can see outside of the server it's a normal port only suppose like if you open the irctc.com irctc.com here example irctc.com example here what will happen that will be like a port only that will be like port it will have port only it will come here via port only the everything will come into picture here via port that will come to on that will come to the so uh, active status here via port only that will come to active if the port is deactivated we cannot access this irctc.co.in page here. We cannot access irctc.co.in page here because of this one. This one means host name only here, right? This is a host name they set for the server. So back end, so there is a port number. If it is HTTP, then 880 instance number, HTTPS 443, that is the normal general port here. When you open that with the port also, it will just open the host name only here, right? So see here with the port number also opened here. So here also, when you see here, here also when you see here, this is also via URL, via port you are opening here, right? With the host name, just port number here. So here host name and port number. If we also set the HTTPS like this one, so our request also will open like this only here. Our request also will open, so like this, right? So HTTPS, HTTPS colon slash slash. So if you are using this functionality for some other, see it is opening. Maybe certificate. Is, so it's opening. This is opening for the some other websites is opening here. Means we don't have this functionality. We don't have this port. It's opening. So we configured the port as like double four three zero two. That's why the request is opening like this here. The request is opening. So like this, it is opening here. Right. That is the one of the thing here. That is the one of the thing. So, <clears throat> so this is the so ICM ICM ports opening anything. These all are the services here. These all are the services SAP, BC sub services. The service activation which we have to do it from via SICF transaction code here. Via SICF transaction code, we can activate the services here. If we go to the any service name here, we go to the service name here, so that will be activated via service SICF transaction code here. 
So, so here we need to activate the services. If any services, internal services, so by HR services, suppose like here you see here. Suppose here you can see. So after the host, then slash nz and try and sets. Suppose if you have these functionalities, then we can also open those functionalities and everything from here. Right after that nz and everything, we can open it here. That is also fine. If it is the IRCTC server, then we can also open the to the services from here. The service activations and everything which we have to do it from the using SICF run SICF. So here, so what we have to do it here. Here we need to activate the services. Here we have to activate the services and everything here. Here we have to activate the ICS services. So nodes, everything we have to do that one here. That's what we have to do it in the system here. Right? So SMICM and SICF. SMICM and SICF is for service activation. Service activation or so deactivation we have to perform using the SICF transaction code. Right? So that is the one. So here SMICM are ports configuration. Ports HTTP port here. As part of the day to day, we need to go to the we need to go to the respect to transaction code here, respect to transaction code SMICM. Then we need to check the port services here. Here the port should be active status. This active field should be active status here. In case of if this is deactivated here, what will happen here? So you cannot able to open the any site here. You cannot able to open the any site here. So you will get the 500 internal server error. So some kind of things you may get it out here. So these ports should be active status here. Right? That is the main thing here. Right? Suppose if you want to do the restart, sometimes what happens? So browser only one ICM will not be able to handle the all the browser requests. So in this case, we can restart the ICM here. Exit soft restart or exit hard restart. We can do it. Exit soft and hard restart. We can do it here. SMICM. So hard hard shutdown local global and soft shutdown local global. We can do so. This kind of things we can perform. It. This kind of things we can perform. Sometimes if we may have to restart the ICM services here. So that time. We can do it via the services here. Okay. You can do via the services. This is the one. Right. This is also one of the daily uh, monitoring activity here. Right. I mean, not the restart, checking the port status, or the ICM is running or not. So, one of the daily monitoring activities here. Right. So, next one that we know, name remaining SMLG, this one we know that is the so this SMLG is the logon groups which you can configure it but because the newly installed systems we have to do it again from the scratch that you can perform it then rg12 rg12 is the rfc server groups here while logging to the system you can use this logon groups and everything SMLG. but rg12 is for a rfc logon groups here rfc server groups here this will be used in the uh, internal communications from one RFC to one another RFC. So these communications will be used here, right? Some parallel mechanisms. So internal communication, one system to other system are uh, in internal communications. So we have to use this concept here, RFC server groups creation. RFC server groups creation here. Here we need to use the RFC. So what is the instance here? We have to use it here, right? So then click on the copy, yes. Then RFC server groups here. This will be used for internal server communication purpose here, right? RFC server groups SM RG to well. Only these things we can see here. RFC server groups here, right? Groups created. Suppose this also used in the some internally internal communication purpose. This RFC groups will be used system to system and all those things here. Now one more thing is here. So background server groups here, background job server groups here, right? So background job server groups here. After the RG12, then SM, SM61 is for the, the background, background server, background job server groups here, background job server groups here. SM61 transaction code here. If we go to the SM61, 
so here you can see the so background job server group here for the background jobs go to the job server group we can create the one group here for the background so we can create the one group for background why because you have the multiple application server right while creating the job we have the target server name right while creating the job you may give the target server name here right so if you go to the sm36 for what sm36 what is the purpose of the sm36 So background job server server background jobs creation right we are target server right which means you have the one application server file but if you have the multiple application server then how it will be right which application server you will run that is the reason so here we need to create a group here btc group you have to create it here btc sap underscore so btc underscore default group if you create what will happen if the multiple application server system will decide system will decide where to run where you should not run so system will decide this one all those things system will decide these things here right so that is the reason here the background job server group we can use it here background job server group we can create using this one only. okay so that is the the main thing here so whenever any job is running it will use the this group in this group how many application servers are you have pointed so your job will run on that application server depends upon the load how the user request will be forwarded to the respective application server if you have more than one application server same way your background jobs also will be pointed to the respective app server here right so here when the job is running here it will use the default group in that group how many application servers are there it will use the that many application servers here that many servers that many the process it will be used here see here this is a newly installed system here we don't have currently so any jobs are running here we don't have any jobs are running here so what we can do you can go to the sm36 here you can create the first logical system then client creation copy the data right under the client one client you can create under the client you can copy the data then after that you can do it the next step here okay you can do the next steps groups and all those things you can do the practice here in this so ecd system here right that is the one thing here right rg12 rfc sorry rg12 is for the rfc server groups here smlg logon server groups login users this is a rfc server groups here so this is the sm61 background job server groups here background job server groups sm61 we can use it here service activation deactivation sicm smicm is for the ports and icm ipc you can use these things here right so that is the one thing here and coming to <coughs> the other trans these all are the small small transaction ports here right and and uh, the usage is this is for the background jobs if there are multiple application server where you have to run so that you cannot decide system will decide based upon the uh, mac based upon the response time and the load system will decide where to run your background job background jobs and everything here that system will decide okay the next one rg12 rfc server groups internal communication purpose we will use this rfc server groups here right service activation and port numbers and the next one is like a normally this transaction ports you know right sa38 or se38 what is the use of the sa38 in 38 hello to run the reports uh, to develop pop up programs yeah so to create the for execute the program and all those things and we will use so we will uh, use this for uh, communication purpose here right programs and report purpose 
we will use this one so same developer wants to create the some program or report then they can use the so sa 38 or se 38 but there is a difference between this these two here so se 38 is for the so we can edit like we can create we can edit we can delete all those things we can do it here right source code we did so all those things so we can we can do that one the field is different but sa 38 is only for the execution only we can put the program name and execute that will be executed but sc 38 here not only execution more than that we can do that one more than that one not only execution here the program we can also view the source code we can also create the new program we can also see we can also edit something all those things we can do it in the se 38 here right se 38 transaction code here right the one more transaction codes are called the se 11 to se 16 here this all are the view the table data view the table data tables table data here in case of if we want to see the table data we can use the se 11 to se 16 here if we go to the se 11 then you just provide the table name here table name here any table that we can provide it we can see the data table data means inside of the data this tables are exist at database level sir i want to see the what data is storing in this table level here if you see the if you go to se level or see we can view the table data everything we can view it here what data storing and all the information we can see it here all the information this table is for the user master record store so all the users which are there in the sap system all will be displayed in in this case here all will be displayed here all will be displayed here so currently we have so sap star bdac one one more user you created so only that user is displaying here right if you create the one more user then one more entry will be displayed so to view the table data so so we can we can create that table we can view it same as like so se 11 right so if you go to the se 16 only table data we can see only data we can see both are same se 11 to se 11 to se 12 for the table right se 13 is for the table only so all are for the viewing the table view the tables data view the tables data and etc so we have to use this concept we have to use this tables data we have to use it here right that is the thing here so this one we know right sec4 client settings and everything here as a part of the client administration we discussed about the this client settings and everything here right so it's very important this client settings are important so these are important this client settings are important here so then what next we have so we have many things are there so but only thing is se 11 16 38 tables view the tables data and everything so every these things okay so you practice these things and uh, the previous ones as well which we discussed and also you need to work on the some other uh, post activities as well here 